Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your printer is stuck in an error state. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to address assuming that you've already tried turning your printer on and off again as well as turning your computer on and off again. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by actually going in and opening up the start menu. And you want to type in device manager. Best man should say device manager right above control panel. You want to left click on that one time. Now I'm going to drag this window over. You want to expand the print queries section here. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it. Locate whatever printer is actually yours from this list. Recommend right clicking on it and then left clicking on update driver. Suggest searching automatically for updated driver software. It should be your first attempt. Windows will search your computer and the internet for the latest driver software for your device unless you've disabled this feature for your device installation settings. I'm going to left click on that. And if it says the best driver for your device is already installed, you're welcome to go online to your printer's website and type in driver software for whatever your printer name is. I would also suggest if you're still having problems again restarting your computer, if you want to reset your print board, that's also something that I would suggest trying. So if we close out of here, open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best man should come back with command prompt above desktop app. You want to right click on it, left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now the first command you want to type in is NET, so net space stop space spooler, exactly it appears on my screen, so net stop spooler, then you want to hit enter. So we're going to basically be restarting the print spooler service here. And once it said that it has been stopped successfully, you want to type in net start spooler. So basically the same thing we typed in before, except instead of stop, you're going to type in start. Then you want to hit enter. should say the print spooler service is starting and that it has been started successfully. So once you've done that, I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully your issue has been resolved. If it has not, again, go on your printer manufacturer's website and go download the driver software through there. It should have an automatic utility also that will go ahead and try and locate your device. Make sure your printer is turned on. Um, if there's any problems with your actual printer, this tutorial really isn't going to address that, like hardware-wise. So I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.